Hey, what's up guys? It's Dimitri Dima from Sumper.com bringing you another supplement review. Today we're going to check a product by All Max Nutrition and the product is called Hexapro. A quick look at the label will reveal that you're getting 6 ultra high quality types of protein, also you're getting 5 amino acid blend with BCAAs and of course premium satisfying taste. Obviously it goes without saying that we're going to go through each of those points, assess them and see whether what's in this product is worth buying. The first thing that you see on the nutritional facts is the serving size which is 44 grams. And this is another thing that we need to acknowledge. Basically protein blends tend to have higher amount of carbs, fats and protein and the serving size is also slightly bigger than the lean protein powders. In those 44 grams you get 176 calories. Now that's a lot. Compared to all the protein blends this is a bit high because generally you'll be getting 150, 160 calories per serving at most with some small exceptions such as Synta 6 in which you get 190 calories per serving. So while this is not an ideal amount of calories, it could be worse. Those 176 calories are coming from 4 grams of fats, 10 grams of carbs and 25 grams of protein. Protein is not an ideal amount here because 25 grams in a 44 gram scoop means that you're getting 55% protein per scoop. Anything below 60 in my opinion is quite low. So all max really need to compensate with the types of ingredients in this product and even then I would still be quite on the fence whether to buy a product that only gives me less than 60% protein. In regards to fats, 4 grams, that's kind of okay because most protein blends have 2-3 grams of uh, fat. So 4 grams is not too bad but the 10 grams of carbs is quite high in my opinion. I think that even though you're getting 4 grams of fibers and 1 gram of sugar, the 10 grams is still kind of unacceptable. In regards to nutritional facts, I cannot say that I am fascinated by it. I wouldn't say it's outstanding, but I hope that what's in the ingredients profile would compensate for the nutritional facts. So let's check the ingredients. So as I've said in the beginning, Hexapro consists of six types of protein, hence the name. And those six types are as follows. The first one is whey protein concentrate, which is cold temperature processed cross flow microfilter. Basically you're getting a quality whey protein concentrate, which as most of you know is quickly digested type of protein. This is followed by milk protein isolate, which consists of 80% casein and 20% whey. Or if you have to be more precise, that's 82% casein and 18% whey. Uh, meaning that this is a slow digesting type of protein. The third type of protein that you get in this product is whey protein isolate. Very quickly type, uh, digested type of protein. Uh, quicker than whey protein concentrate because it's um, a more filtered version of it. The fourth type is muscle casein. Now it's great seeing muscle casein here because most companies put uh, calcium casein which is the cheaper version and this product is such an example which basically puts muscle casein and calcium casein it. So it's great to see just this type here. Uh, for those of you who do not know, muscle casein is a very slowly digested type of protein. It forms something like a clump in your stomach and it's really hard to digest so it takes up to 8 hours for your body to fully digest it. Meaning that it gives you a constant flow of amino acids throughout those um, 8 hours. Making it ideal as a type of protein that you can consume just before going to bed. The next type of protein is egg albumin, which is basically egg protein, medium digested type of protein, high quality. And the final type is hydrolyzed whey protein, very quickly digested type of protein. It's pretty much pre-digested so your body can absorb it almost instantly. Um, it's really a quality type of protein, but because it's quite expensive, it's usually in the end of the list. Unless you're buying a hydrolyzed whey protein or a blend with an isolate, in which case you're getting a substantial amount of it. In this case, having in mind that it's sixth on the list, 
my wild guess is that you're not getting tons of it. After the six protein blend, you're getting aminoplex, which is something mentioned on the front of the label. Basically, the five amino acids that you're getting are in a blend. And those amino acids are glycine, taurine, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Um, as you know, isoleucine, leucine, and valine are the BCAs. But what about glycine and taurine? Basically, those are cheap amino acids that are put in the products to boost the protein content while making more profit for the company. So, in short, you do not want to see added glycine and taurine in your product. How much is glycine and taurine in this product? Luckily for us, all max have provided amino acid profile, so it's really easy to see that you're getting 2.4 grams of taurine and 2.2 grams of glycine in a 44 gram serving. So having in mind that we are getting 25 grams of protein per serving, this means that 4.6 grams of those are coming from the two cheap amino acids. And now you might be wondering, okay, but what is an acceptable amount of taurine and glycine in a high quality protein powder? And the answer is this, you get 500 milligrams or half a gram of glycine, which is naturally occurring in the in whey pro protein and as for taurine you get none seriously guys like if you want taurine go and buy it because in most cases when you get taurine in such a product you're paying premium for it and it's dirt cheap amino acid so buying a product make sure that it, there is no glycine and no taurine added to the product this is then followed by um, Hexapro suspension matrix which consists of maltodextrin, fibers, thickeners and so on and so forth stuff that's not really important because it's in very uh, low quantities and then you get um, Hexapro liquid fuel which consists of sunflower oil, soil oil, high MCTs, coconut oil, COA and high omega-3 flaxseed oil. We all know that MCTs which stands for medium chain triglyceride is a type of fat that's very easily uh, used by the body for energy so it's really a great source but it comes after soy oil and sunflower oil and considering that this complex comes after the thickeners my wild guess is that you're not getting tons of it generally speaking you need about 5 to 10 grams of MCTs per day to get all the benefits associated with it as for COA you need about a gram or two at least per day again to get the benefits and in regards to the high omega-3 flaxseed oil omega-3 generally you need between three and six grams per day to get the benefits and the liquid fuel is followed by all kinds of thickeners and flavorings and so on and so forth things that are in very small quantities and you shouldn't be really concerned about that much so what i think about the ingredients profile great quality six types of protein all of them like great types of protein that i would like to see in the powder that i'm consuming with that being said the amino acid complex just ruined it for me out of the 25 grams of protein 4.6 grams are cheap amino acids that's about 20 percent of the protein content that you get comes from the cheap amino acids and for me that's just unacceptable and in regards to the other ingredients such as MCTs, omega-3 and uh, COA they're just insufficient quantities like I wouldn't really count to get any benefits from those three in this product just because they're in really really low quantities right so now let's check how it mixes and how the product tastes by the way, I'm getting a lot of questions about the steel shaker, whether it's worth buying. And I think it's cool, but it's not really as cool as it looks. Like, for example, when you add water, you cannot see how much water you've added. In this case, I have about 250 milliliters of water. And this is a typical scoop, which as you can see is quite big, obviously, 44 grams. So I'm just throwing this one here. Closing the shaker and shaking it up. Okay, that should be enough. I just pour this in a glass so you can see the consistency of the shake. You can see quite thick. The flavor that I'm reviewing is cookies and cream, which explains those small bits. 
that you're seeing here. It's like real cookies. And it's quite thick as well. Very filling. Now let me give it a go. Yeah, quite thick, quite tasty as well. It's not amazingly delicious in my opinion. I think it could taste better. And I'm comparing to Synth 6 and Myofusion, which in regards to taste are absolutely outstanding in my opinion. Uh, but this one is not bad either. I'm just comparing the taste in regards to the amount of carbs and fats that you're getting in this product. So still, it's pretty good. I've tried chocolate as well. Chocolate is pretty standard. It's like chocolate milkshake, something that you get from McDonald's, but without tons of sugar in it. In regards to thickness, um, it's cool. But the thing is, if you are a fan of light shakes, this might not be your cup of tea. Also, it's not a perfect shake after a workout when you again want something lighter, but it's great as a, as a shake just before going to bed or if you're on a diet and you have some crazy cravings and your diet allows a protein shake with 10 grams of uh, carbs and 4 grams of fat then definitely you can go for this one I think it will satisfy your cravings so it's a suitable option depending on the type of person you are and what kind of shakes you like I personally like thick shakes and this one appeals to me I like it taste is good and it mixes really good as well, doesn't form any clumps or bits, just with a couple of shakes and bam, it was done. So what's the bottom point guys? Is this product worth buying? Now first we went through the nutritional facts and we've come down to the conclusion that the amount of fats is kind of okay, the amount of carbs is a bit too high being 10 grams and the 25 grams of protein per serving of 44 grams gives you just about 56% protein which is not ideal. So in regards to nutritional facts, I can't say that this is a strong product. Then we went through the ingredients profile um, and our conclusion there was that the types of protein are high quality but the types of amino acids added to it are basically ruining it and are not making it an optimal type of protein. And in regards to the MCTs, omega-3 and COA, we've came down to the conclusion that you're not getting tons of it, so it's not something that I would really take into account when purchasing this product. In regards to taste and mixability, great, no issues there. Tastes pretty good, mixes great, doesn't form many clumps, so no issues there. So is it a product worth buying? Well, obviously I bought it once, would I buy it again? Probably not. If I want a lean protein powder, I'll go for something with 70% plus uh, protein content in a scoop and something that has a low amounts of carbs and fats in it. If I want a protein blend, I think there are better protein blends out there that do not contain cheap amino acids and also taste quite good. But that's my opinion guys. I'm curious to read yours in the comment section below and what you think about Hexapro. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and till next time.